Greetings, Sachs Middle School sixth graders. First, I want to start out by saying I miss you all and I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, this video presentation is going to quickly go through some slides on your new capability for using NCPS email. So we're going to start with the why. Um, in terms of the five C's that you always hear us talk about, you know, we're obviously uh, members of a learning community celebrating one, one another through caring, communication, and commitment. And many of these C's fall under how we're going to be using email. So with that being said, we're hopeful that communication between and amongst teachers and counselors, uh, administrators as well, uh, will help uh, expedite some of the messaging that goes back and forth and um, assignments and feedback and all, all those things that are gonna help continue to move this e-learning environment forward. Uh, as we progress through the remainder of the school year. Uh, we also hope that it's going to help with the connections that we have with and amongst each other. So that's uh, a big part of our thinking and the feedback that's come in from parents, from teachers, and even from students is that this will hopefully be helpful for everybody. Now, in terms of character, you know, this is a slide that you've seen before when we've been together in the auditorium or you've heard me reference as a grade level. Um, it's probably most relevant now where, you know, I'm in my dining room right now. You guys are in your own learning spaces uh, within your own house. And, um, you know, there's not that, that watchful eye over, over you all the time. And that's okay. But really thinking about who you are when you think nobody is looking. Um, you know, that's a part of our digital citizenship and, you know, who we are as um, citizens, you know, at any given point in time when, um, you know, we're communicating with one another. And, you know, I, we always pose the question, somebody's day better because you were part of it. And hopefully uh, the answer is yes. And, you know, that you contributed to being kind to somebody. And, um, you know, that this is another way to be able to do that. You know, part of that is going, you'll be seeing in the acceptable use policy as you review that, uh, that is sharing the importance of making sure that we're in compliance with what the expectations are. A few details we're going to go through here. Uh, please remember to check your email daily. Uh, I'm sure you're either into a routine or you get into a routine of either your school and or personal messages when you check them. Uh, but it'll be good to get a, a, a schedule down and allow you to manage your messaging, uh, receiving and or sending uh, as best you can. Um, so set that routine, whatever works for you, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but, um, you know, that, that's something that's uh, good advice on that. So this is going to be used as an instructional tool. So in terms of salutations, uh, you know, whenever I send an email, it's always dear so-and-so, um, you know, we expect that, you know, you utilize it in that way. It's not texting or, you know, LOL and all that good stuff, uh, slang expressions that might be used through other, other platforms, which is okay in, in that area. Um, but we're going to be hopefully utilizing this to set up, um, really it's, it's a life skill in terms of communicating. Uh, this is just another format in doing so. Uh, keeping everything school appropriate, talked a little bit about being that good digital citizen and complying with acceptable use policies. Uh, we need to ensure that everything is school appropriate. Um, and it's also important to, to note that this does not replace creative or constructive thinking. Um, we want you to continue to pose questions in Google Classroom. Uh, and also to be problem solvers. You know, the old expression, ask three before me uh, from a teacher is a good reminder during this time as well. Uh, we don't want this to turn into just a back and forth an email. I'm gonna run a quick question by um, because it's it's not instant messaging. You know, it, it's to be used for its intended purpose. So that leads me to the next uh, slide, which is the 24 hour rule. And it's in quotes because it does vary a little bit. This is referencing mostly the school the school week. Um, you know, obviously on, on weekends or over holidays or vacations, um, it's not expected that teachers are going to be checking their email and getting back to people right away. But, um, you know, typically within receipt of an email within 24 hours, uh, there should be a response on that. So, you know, just kind of get that mindset that it's not an instant messaging tool where you're going to get a response right away. Um, you know, sometimes teachers are available and they're at their computer and you might get something. Uh, but, you know, that would be the exception and not the norm uh, because, this is just another tool that everybody is balancing and navigating with the whole big picture of the, 
you know, e-learning environment and beyond, to, to be honest with you, as you get into real life as well. Um, you know, I speak from experience on that. I try and chunk my time where, um, you know, I, I balance the things that have to get done and then getting back to people who have questions through email. So, but try and stick to that 24 hour rule. In addition to the communication, there are also um, daily and weekly messages that you'll be added to a listserv. So you will get, uh, re- you'll be receiving our daily announcements, which I'm excited about because I think there are a lot of great and fun things in there that are relevant to you as students. Um, and our SACS Weekly, it's a way that we celebrate our learning community. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you have been in there. I'm sure a lot of you will want to contribute. Uh, some of our spirit days are a big emphasis on that. So Um, You can look for those to be uh, coming into your inbox as well soon. You know, this is not specific to just email, and this is something that we keep on our uh, digital signage in rotation throughout the building and on our website. But I think it's important, uh, especially now as we go through our e-learning environment, you know, for the the remainder of of the school year in this format that um, that you know and hear again that we believe in you. Um, you know, we're not going to give up on you. We have high expectations for you because we know you can do it. Uh, when the going gets tough, we're going to be here to help you. And, you know, when we say we, that means your teachers, your counselors, support staff, any trusted adult in the building uh, that you have interaction with, whether it was physically in the building or virtually uh, through this through this environment. Um, and honestly, you're really doing well. You're doing great and keep it up. You know, it might be trying at times. I'll speak for myself as well. Um, but you know, everybody's doing the best they can. There's no script for this and we're all in this together. You know, I, I say this a lot as well in our, in our grade level meetings, uh, when I have an opportunity to speak with you guys collectively as a group, as a grade level, you know, thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. When I say here, I mean that uh, virtually uh, in in this aspect. Um, But you guys are truly the ones that make SACS great. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for your dedication to your learning. Thank you to your commitment for, um, you know, this this experience and your adaptability as we all go through this together. Uh, I've heard wonderful wonderful things about your engagement in your classes and uh, keep up the great work. We really do appreciate that. And we're wishing you all well. We're all in this together and, uh, you know, we're all sax hawks. You know, it's exciting to, to have that to look forward to. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate everything you guys have done. And uh, don't be afraid to reach out at any point if you have any questions or you want to share any great things that have been going on. But from my heart to you guys, thank you. Be well and keep up the great work.